Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. So I'm going to be styling my wig on camera today. And I'm going to also do a video on how I keep my makeup on for eight hours and longer. So stay tuned. Stay where you at. And if you guys want to, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And we're going to get started. We're gonna style it on camera right now. First thing that I like to do is I like to start with the back of my hair and I like to use either the Style Factor edge control or I like to use some mousse, but I'm gonna use Fruities Sleek and Shine. And I'm gonna put that all over the hair. The hair that I use for this wig is human hair. It is the, I think it's Ultra Yaki. And then I use the 27 piece. I'll have it listed down below in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. But honestly, this was really an easy wig to make. It was really easy, I promise you. So I'm gonna start with the back and then work my way to the front. My face is moisturized as far as like me washing it and everything with my moisturizing um, cleanser. So I'm gonna go in and moisturize my skin again. So one of the moisturizers that I've been using that's been keeping my makeup on for a long period of time is, this is Athea, I believe, and is the Hydro Lucan and Vitamin C Daily Moisturizer. This is really good. one which is with infused with vitamin c and then they have another one i'm oh, about to use it right now so the next one is the renewal night cream is anti-aging skin renewal moisturizer i just use a little bit of this because i like the way it smells and it does give it a nice hydrating feel you're supposed to use it at night but i use it during the day The next thing that I'm going to use is two more things I'm going to use and then I'm going to start doing my eyebrows. I'm probably going to skip through my eyebrows because you guys already see me use my eyebrow, done my eyebrow tutorial too many times. So the next product that I'm going to be using is the Bite. Very little. I'm going to be using my Bite Beauty um, Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer and this is good for dry, normal to dry skin. Sorry about that, guys. So I just put that all over my skin. And then the next 
Wild Prime Focus Prime Serum. And this is hydrating. And this is new. So I'm going to use a few drops. Using this is to set my concealer. Well, it's actually stick foundation. So basically, what I use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation, and this is in the shade Golden Tan, just to give my eyebrows a little bit of a highlight. So that's one of the ways that I keep my eye makeup on if I decide to do eye makeup for the day. The only thing that I'm gonna do for my eyes today is I'm gonna use a flush of color which i'm going to be using my morphe this is the 9bz palette which is the bronzing palette and i'm going to take this shade and this shade here just to warm up the crease this is going to be like an everyday makeup look but this is what i would normally do um if i want makeup to stay all day I'm just putting it into the crease and buffing it out and I'm using a blender brush and this is from Amazon. This on the, Mono the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray and you could also use this as a primer but I'm going to use it before I put so basically i'm going to be using this this is an old foundation but i've grown to love it it is professional kiss new york it's supposed to be a bb cream but when i tried it it's a foundation so i'm going to say bb cream slash foundation and it's eight and one it gives a radiant finish and it's high coverage it hydrates for freshen and freshens for soft skin all day and it's supposed to be for all skin types so this is what it looks like and in the drugstore like any beauty supply store you go to this is supposed to be six or seven dollars and this foundation slash bb cream is really good i like it and sometimes even though it says for all skin types it kind of comes off as a matte finish to me so i don't know so i'm just gonna rub it in first and again this is they are at 100% right with full coverage. For me, this is full coverage. So I'm just patting it on my skin first with my fingers and whatever else I would need. Now I'm going to be using the same the same foundation that I used for my eyes. I'm going to be using it on my under eye. So it's the Wet n Wild Photo Stick Foundation in Golden Tan. Just add a little bit, a tiny bit there. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender again to just blend. Now I'm just gonna fix my eyebrow just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Okay, don't check my mirror. All right, everything looks nice and blended. So now what I'm gonna do is use my Maybelline. If you guys know, this has been one of my favorites for forever. This is the Maybelline Shine Loose Powder in the shade Medium. I use my Beauty Blender and just on I 
And I don't really need a lot of this because my skin is already dry. So I just put it on the areas that I know for a fact crease. And I try not to leave this on too long. I'm gonna go right into bronzing with that same palette that I used for my eyes. And I'm just gonna warm up the face really, really, really quickly. and I'm using the mascara wet n wild max volume and oh if you guys are interested in these lashes these lashes are from Eden Rose and I think they're in the style fantasy I'm not mistaken I think it's fantasy I'll leave it down below in the description box now we're going to do highlighter. So the highlighter that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to use two actually. Um, if I can find it. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder. It looks like this. And I'm going to be using my ColourPop X Makeup Shayla in the color Booming. So I'm going to use this one first and then I'm going to use Booming. looking real glowy today talk about glowing mm, baby together I'm gonna fix my hair a little bit and I will be right back for the final look situation that we got going on so i'll be right back for a full eight hours today because i will be working a little bit longer than eight hours so this is what we're looking like i gotta fix that in the back but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I got some more videos coming up. I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.